After Yugoslavia broke up into six countries with the death of leader Marshal Tito in 1981, the ethno-religious animosities between Orthodox Serbs, Catholic Croats, and Bosnian Muslims started to escalate, culminating into an all-out war that started in 1991 until 1995 in an uneasy truce. Bosnia and Herzegovina was ground zero in this civil war. After a cup of hot choco, we crossed the border from Croatia. This is Medjugorje, a town in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and an official place of Catholic pilgrimage since the Blessed Virgin Mary allegedly appeared on Apparition Hill and another in front of the Church of St. James in 1981, the year the Yugoslavian leader died. It doesn't much matter what people think or say, I know in my heart she is here, I know they feel it too. Maybe one of these empty benches is waiting for you to come and visit. Next up, Mostar, the epicenter of the Bosnian-Croatian War. We arrived Mostar from the Croatian Catholic side. We learned from Steve, our driver, a Croatian university student from Mostar, that he has not crossed the old bridge or Stari Most for decades to the eastern side of the Neretva River the Bosnian Muslim quarters since the conflict began. At present, Catholic children do not mix with Bosnian children and go to different schools. Both have different hospitals and fire departments. This is Stare Most or Old Bridge, also ironically called the Unification Bridge.
Everything seems normal in this town. We crossed the old bridge that didn't have any trace of the war. We chanced upon a local boy who makes jumping from the bridge 25 meters to the Neretva river below as a tourist entertainment. We strolled around the Bosnian quarters and enjoyed souvenir shopping and some conversation with local merchants. Beautiful. Beautiful. We loved the food here, especially the local chibapchichi. This place has seen the horrors of war. These gentle people, forced to take up arms because of greed of a few leaders hidden under the guise of religion. A hundred thousand people died and seven thousand perished in mass graves not far from here. Who is right or wrong depends on whose side you talk to. Until now, nobody knew who won, but the world knows who lost. I hope time heals their wounds. When? Nobody knows, with the walls of division still very evident. I pray for peace and healing in this beautiful land. <laughs>